How's it going Gamer Heroes? I am Lance Sekiro and today I'm going to be talking about Doctor Who The Edge of Time on the Oculus Quest. Now I have to thank the developers for sending me the Oculus Quest version because they also sent me the Oculus version on PC beforehand and it's the same concept but now I can take it on the go and let other people experience without having to carry my whole PC with me in order to get the nice detailed experience. Either way, it's still visual, it's still worth playing it on a mobile device. So thank you for sending me this copy. Overall there's really not much to say. Like I said, it's the same concept. The graphics, it's still visual. It may not be as detailed, but it's still visual that you can actually tolerate and, you know, still get immersed into the game and interact with all the other objects. Sound quality wise, exactly the same thing for some odd reason, but you know what? That's a good thing if it's the same thing like the PC side, meaning there shouldn't be any type of conflicts between exploration and sound cues and all that. Controls, same concept. I mean, what else can you say? You're on a mobile. Overall, like I said, if you're a Doctor Who fan, this is the game to get. I will say this in my opinion, once you play it through the first time, there's really no point in going back. Like I said, this is the one experience that you get to feel like you are Doctor Who themselves and saving the world, wibbly wobbly, all that mumbo jumbo. But if you guys have seen the gameplay that I've posted on my channel, you know, you can get an idea of how it is and maybe you might be interested yourself whether you are a Doctor Who fan or not. Other than that, I did enjoy it the first time and I also enjoyed it the second time where I was able to uh, explore the TARDIS in a room scale environment without having to teleport or use the joystick to roam around. But I do kind of wish, in my opinion, when it came to playing the game and actually flying the TARDIS, that you was able to interact with the other gadgets around it instead of that one section, you know? It's like, first, they challenge you with that one section. Then they move you to the other side and challenge you with other section of the uh, TARDIS when it comes to steering it to another place. And I was also kind of hoping they could have done it to where you're jumping into the next map and they want you to steer it again you know kind of give you more of a, more mini games than just that one experience and then you move over to the next level then the next level then the next level either way that's my opinion on it what do you guys think leave it in the comments and i'll see you guys another time we're coming to get you we're coming to get you Cry baby bunting, Doctor's friends have gone a-hunting, on to fetch the precious stones, but the angels eat your bones. You know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. <laughs>